Go, my name is Jay Clacken from Monroe College. I'm vying for the position of Assistant Vice President for Region 5 for the NSSC. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow colleagues, I bid you all greetings. I am a Jay Clacken from Monroe College, vying for the position of Assistant Vice President for Region 5. Now, former U.S. President Barack Obama would have pinned his belief when he affirmed change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are indeed the change that we seek. In any society or organization, its greatest asset is its people. And the effective management of this great asset incites a change that profits its members. And I, Ajay Clacken, I am the one ready to commence, manage, and strengthen that change for the better. So what are my plans for the 2020-2021 academic year as Assistant Vice President for the NSSC? If elected, I aim to provide not just excellent ladies and gentlemen, but immaculate representation for the region. This blooms in light of realizing communication is a problem within the region. Therefore, I plan to initiate regular communication strategies with schools, giving information and gathering complaints and concerns. Then, in line with the NSSC's mandate, we address them from a regional perspective. We are, after all, a family, and a family sticks and works together. Additionally, I've noticed that regional efforts are underfunded. I plan to fiscally empower the region, raising capital through coordinating sponsorships, robust due collections, all to have local fundraisers. The figure is set at $400,000 by December 2020, all in creating a comprehensive monetary scheme dedicated towards providing funds for regional engagements, as well as exploring a possible Region 5 grant. And this grant is to aid exceptional student leaders and students in need of financial help. Finally, I have noticed that socially, we aren't as together as we are. I tell my parents all the time, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It is my aim to host regional social interactions so as to boost efficiency and camaraderie. It is on this premise I say, brothers and sisters, that time is now. A change is needed. Together, we can. It's time to get cracking with clacking. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, sir. We'll move right into your question and answer section. Just to remind you quickly, it will be three questions. I will ask you them individually, and you will answer. You'll have 30 seconds to answer each. First question If the NSSC should face any circumstances of inadequate funding, how would you help to, how would you help to reduce this issue? within your particular region? Thank you. Well, indeed, I mentioned that I plan to fiscally empower my region, even going as far as setting uh, um, a, a, a amount of money that we wish to uh, accumulate by December. Um, indeed, I am looking having our own council, our own region actually, and engage in uh, fiscal campaigns. Fundraising in order to raise money to alleviate the NSSC struggle. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Second question. Considering the impacts of COVID-19 on public gatherings and those kind of fundraising activities, yes. what creative strategies will you seek to employ to improve the finances of the council? Just remember, we are referring to the, the effect of COVID-19 on public gatherings. As you know, most times fundraising activities will be done in a physical format. So what alternative strategies do you plan to implement to still ensure that the council within your region can still have a sense of financial, I would say financial stability. Is he here? Yes, I'm here. Are you hearing me? Yes, I am. Go ahead. 
Excellent. Uh, the beauty of technology as it evolves, we've realized that there is connectivity even in times that we are, we are physically distant. But we should never really be socially apart. Indeed, I do believe that in reaching persons, even to go for campaigning and uh, reaching out to others, there are virtual means for going out and uh, requesting uh, help for our region. Indeed. Through various platforms, of course. Okay, thank you. And your final question. Identify one child right and discuss why this right is so important and you may choose to contextualize it within your specific region or you may do it on a national, national level. It's your choice. I believe a very important, um, a very important child right is that each child uh, deserves really to a right to speech. In many cases, uh, we are, especially in the case of suspensions, a lot of students are given an unfair trial and really it has nothing to do with what the student says. And in many times, I mean, I know the NSCC would have faced problems, especially Region 5 with, with suspensions and all of these, um, all of these that fall within this criteria. So I do believe that in a right to speech is very, is very important and to express. Okay, thank you so much. That 